Back to our top story. New details from investigators about that deadly overnight crash on Mopac. Officers now know which driver was speeding and going the wrong way on the highway. KVU's Tina Shively has been live all morning long. She joins us now from the scene. So what are investigators saying? Well, Brian and Yvonne, I just got off the phone with police several minutes ago. They told me that the female driver of the Honda was the one who was going the wrong way on Mopac just before 1 o'clock this morning that caused that deadly accident. But if you take a look at the road right now, you'll see there is no sign of a crash out here right now. Traffic out here moving at a normal pace for this time in the afternoon. Crews had the site cleaned up before dawn, so it did not pose a problem during the morning rush hour. Tow trucks and street sweepers removed the debris and the vehicles about three hours after the crash. It all began with a 911 call just before 1 o'clock this morning. A report of a driver going the wrong way. Police scrambled to try and find her, but she slammed into another car minutes later before police could locate her. Uh, paired that both vehicles were moving at highway speeds. Uh, there was very little braking uh, of those vehicles um, leading up to the actual collision. And it was just a high speed collision and lots of damage to the vehicle. Now that female driver that caused the accident, according to police, she died at the scene. The male died a few hours later at the hospital. Police also tell me it will take a few days before drug and alcohol tests will come through on both the victims to see if that played a role in the crash at all. Brian and Yvonne, back to you.